Dajia hao. Hello everyone. My name is Kurt. Thank you for joining me as we study and learn beautiful Chinese. The beauty of this, uh, the beauty of this channel is that we're learning together. Sorry, I got a little side, get a little distracted. Uh, we're going to do a, about culture and we have eight radicals because in the last video we had two new radicals so that would be ten in combined. I'm going to try to do like I'm going to try to do ten all together plus in this video I added I added in this little section right here three characters it is a it's not just a phrase it is a complete thought uh, but it's the phrase of the video so I added that as well all right so we're going to, we're going to talk about entertainment China has a great deal to offer those interested in the performing arts. A typical week in Shanghai or Beijing choices might include a Western classical uh, ballet, a Beijing opera, a symphony concert, a traditional Chinese canta, oh uh, wait, can, cantata, cantata, a cello recital by a virtuoso of world renown, or a kung fu exhibition. In major cities, that uh, in major cities, the main sources of information are English language newspapers or the growing number of listing uh, listings magazines. Buying tickets at the box office is better than by phone or online, unless you speak Chinese. All right, one example: Chinese opera. Chinese opera has its origins in the traveling players of the Song and Yuan dynasties. At the end of the 18th century, a distinctive Beijing opera emerged from hundreds of regional styles and flourished under imperial patronage. Uh, performances are highly stylized and include singing, uh, dance, mime, and acrobat acrobatics to a musical accompaniment. Plots are based on history, historical events, legends, and folklore. Traditionally, all roles are played by men, and character traits are revealed by makeup. Red representing courage, light, treachery, and so on. There are few props and no uh, changes of scenery. While Beijing opera is easy on the eye, it can be hard on the ears of the unimitated, imitated, un, sorry, uninitiated, and almost impossible to follow unless you know Chinese. Visitor-friendly shows com comprising opera extract usually with a bit of martial arts thrown in, are advised, advertised in hotels. Performances last around 90 minutes and tea and snacks are served during the intermissions. All right, so a little bit about culture. Now, the let's go ahead and do the phrase of the video. Wan Shang Hao. Wan Shang Hao, that's at normal speed. Wan Shang Hao, slow. Wan Shang Hao. So this is, like I said, it's a complete thought. It's not just a phrase. And now we're gonna use, I'll use my little pointer here, my marker. Uh, the first character, we're gonna go over the first character. The, the characters on the right uh, will, are, the char are the character in radical form. Characters on the left, just like all the other videos, the characters on the left is the original character. We're gonna, I'm going to tell you what the original characters are first, and then we're going to go over the characters. I'll show you how to draw both characters on my little whiteboard. The first character on the left, number one, is uh, Bamboo. The second character is um, Insect or Bug. The third character is Rock. Fourth character is ground or soil. Fifth character is person. There is another form to use for uh, in radical form 
for person. That's why I'm doing this one, the uh, person again. There is another radical form for the word to go also. And then number nine, uh, sorry, number seven is grass. Number eight is king. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to show you with the little whiteboard. This character we're going to put it on top, the, the character on the left, and then the character in the radical form underneath, and I'll, I'll tell you what the character underneath means. Just hope that my marker works. Here, let's put this down here. Let's hope it stays on that, on that chair if this one runs out. The first one is bamboo. I'm going to write it up top. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's bamboo. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like in radical form. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the same, it's two of them side by side. Now this character, one, two, three, four. That's four strokes, but this is three strokes each, so that's ten strokes all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strokes. This bottom character means marker or pen or pencil or some kind of writing utensil uh, or even a brush. The old, the old thing, they, the, the brush that they use for calligraphy. That would also be one. Uh, um, it's not by itself but including other characters to make it, to, to distinguish between a pen or a pencil or a marker. The second one, the second one is a bug up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what it looks like by itself. Now, in radical form, it's similar, it's just slightly narrower. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, eight, nine, ten. Now, this character is a shrimp or a prawn. Right. Number number three is uh, a rock. Or stone. One, two, three, four, five. That's what it looks like, like by itself. Let's see if the other marker is going to be darker. These are starting to go together at the same time. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Now, Six, seven, eight. Now this character means mine, or mineral, or ore. Number four. Number four is earth, or ground. One, two, three. All right, this one is the character that has the longer horizontal stroke at the bottom. That's the, the, long, the long one of the two strokes. Okay, now, so like I said, earth or ground, uh, soiled, the uh, soil. Now we're gonna do it with, do it in radical form. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Now this one means, this one also means ground and earth, like, um, 
these two together, if I start with the bottom one, D tool, D tool, this one actually does, this is ground. So like I said, you might see, hear me say that two characters mean ground, or two characters mean, um, uh, a certain, a certain word, but it's because you have to put the two words together. Like I said, not every Chinese character by itself means a word. It could be two characters to mean one English word. So in this case, it would be di tu, the bottom character, the top character. This means earth or ground. But it can also mean, um, it can mean land or ground or floor, like uh, the floor in your apartment, floor in your house, that, the, the bottom character. Number five is person. One, two. We have done person before, but the radical looked like this. Okay, here's what the radical in another way. One, two, three. So you have this is literally half of a person, but in order to draw the other, the person on the bottom, they don't draw the bottom line on the top stroke on the on the first stroke so so that's three four five six so get rid of that so you don't I mean just watch the in the previous videos you'll see the first the first example um, for uh, in, in radical form but this uh, on the left side that's the radical form another way that person is used in a radical form. This means okay or all right. Uh, it can also mean to walk in some uh, uh, context. The next one, the next one is to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so this is, there's, I already, we already did one of these in radical form. It was um, to rise or to get up, to stand up. And it looked like it was smaller. That was the character, that was the character. So you, as you can see, it's mostly on the left side. I'm going to show you another one. It's on the left side. Um, in this case, you know how we saw, talk about left to right, drawing characters left to right, top to bottom. This one is the few exceptions that I've seen. Um, no, I, no, actually, no, there, it's, a diff, it's a different character. I'm thinking of a different character. So one... Two kind of has a it has a strange shape. That's a different. It goes up. Okay, yeah. Three. So one, two, three, four, five. This one. So I'm gonna get rid of this. So you focus on this other this other form this means like beside or a certain side like on the right side uh, it can mean border or it can mean boundary all right number seven is flower I'm sorry flower is the example this <laughs> number seven is um, grass grass one two three four five six seven eight nine and the bottom one is the longest horizontal line that one is let me get a little shorter so I can make put the character on the bottom that's grass by itself now in radical form you 
You see this top piece? That in radical form, just use that character uh, alone, alone. One, two, three. So you can see it down here. Same thing. Four, five, six, seven. This is the one that means flower. That's flower. And I have to switch to these again. <laughs> Might have to throw these out and for this at the end of this video. All right, the last one is to sorry, the last one is king, king on the top. One, two, three, four. So that's what king is by itself. Now in radical form, it's basically the same only uh, it's slightly at an angle. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This means to play. To play. Okay. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, and we're going to continue working on radicals. There are more to do. And I'm still going to get my friend to help me out as much as possible. My Chinese native speaker that I've been relying on for the past, I don't know, probably since we've started doing the radical videos. Simply to make sure I am I show him the video and record it and make sure, hey, am I using the right character in radical form? But I'll show him, hey, I have bamboo right here. Is this the right character for it in radical form? And he has helped me out so much. He's told me there are 800 radicals, but you know, we probably don't have to go through all those. We'll probably just get a sense of the radicals, and I don't know, there might be another couple more videos for radicals. And then we'll move on from there and start learning more Chinese. Um, and so please go back, like this phrase here, go back to previous videos look at the phrases, see if there are some characters. Maybe some of these characters have shown up uh, or actually in those phrases in the previous videos. Um, so if they are, then hey, you've, you've learned some, first of all, you new, learn new characters. Second of all, you might actually be able to figure out what the phrases are. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys again. Zai Jian.